I think that there is no one simple answer to why people experience struggle or mental ill health. And I think that uncertainty definitely played a big role in it. When the Tokyo Games were postponed and possibly cancelled and then countries went into lockdown. Australia had very strict lockdowns for a very long time and you were not able to see your loved ones or compete or train in a, in a way that you would be used to. I think that that uncertainty takes a toll on human beings and and I, I, I don't think that it is uh, isolated to sport. I think that everyone has experienced real struggles and again that's that's okay because it's it's what makes us human really and I think that it's great that we are seeing more high profile more successful people coming out and sharing their struggles and their battles uh, because many people look at particularly sports people and think that they are superhuman or that they are mentally tough and therefore will not experience these challenges and these setbacks. And I, for a very long time, and still do now, uh, struggle not to feel ashamed of these mental struggles and these mental battles that, that I have faced because as an athlete, you're taught to be strong and to push through and you're taught that your mentality is your greatest strength and therefore if that begins to falter then that must make you weak and I just don't think that that is the case I think that we are all human and because one person handles a situation differently to you does not make them stronger than you are it means that they have different experiences than you do and they might have different strengths or different weaknesses than you do so I think the emphasis that we are seeing being placed on mental health and mental well-being and looking after athletes in a holistic approach, not just their physical well-being, but their mental well-being as well, I can only see that being a positive thing and I hope that it will prepare athletes for life after sport, it will give them a more enjoyable time while they're in the sport because you, you never want to leave the sport. With, uh, with any regrets or, or, or feeling or hard feelings towards the sport at all. Sprinting in Australia, it has always been so strong and I am lucky to be following in the legacy of some great swimmers before me. You know, Alice Mills, uh, Libby Trickett, Jody Henry, they were all greats of that event. And because they were so good, I had to rise to their level and. Then I reached the top and now we're encouraging younger swimmers to keep coming through. And I am actually, I'm nervous looking at everyone competing at world championship <laughs> trials. I'm over here in Europe and like frantically checking the time zones because I, I, I feel their excitement and I feel their nerves. And I think that it's wonderful. You know, I, I also recognize that when I come back, I'm going to have to be at my best. These youngsters are going to keep me on my toes. And I think that that's a wonderful thing because maybe I've raised the bar that they have to uh, swim to, and now they are gonna raise the bar that I have to swim to. And, and this, this competition that we have within our country has made Australia the best in the world. And we've been the best in the world for a long time. So I see it as a really positive thing. It's really motivating. It's very exciting to, to see it uh, all play out. What, what would I say to my 18 year old self? Uh, I, I would tell her to be brave. I would tell her that life is complicated and messy and you are going to face challenges and heartbreak but it's all worth it and don't let fear stop you um i think that i spent a lot of my youth worrying uh about what people thought of me or worrying that i wasn't good enough uh I hated parts of myself, whether it was 
physically or I hated the fact that I'm a messy person. I just am. I've really tried to be clean and neat, but I'm just not. And I used to hate that I was so messy and beat myself up about it. But part of the, the messiness is something that I now love about myself. You know, I, I, I love that I'm a little bit chaotic and that's just who I am. And people are gonna love that or they're not. And that's not my problem. So I, I would say, own who you are. Because you're great. <laughs> you're not gonna be perfect for everyone. No one's perfect. And uh, never let fear stop you.